the Wizards of the Roast, a show where I attempt to make every recipe in Wizard of the Coast new cookbook, Heroes Feast. Today we pick from the human race to make Traveler's Stew, a recipe that's going to require one quarter cup all-purpose flour, kosher salt, and freshly ground black pepper, officially confirming Judaism to be canon in the Forgotten Realms, one and one quarter pound beef stew meat cut into pieces, one tablespoon vegetable oil, uh, dark beer, Sodium beef broth, sweet paprika, yellow onions, carrots, potatoes, and parsley. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of chopping this episode. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not quite sure how to cook, but let's get started. Step one. In a large bowl, combine the flour, a teaspoon of salt, and several grinds of pepper. We're going to use this concoction. I spent a couple of hours uh, looking over this recipe specifically trying to figure out what each thing means. And what it looks like we're going to do is coat the meat chunks in this, this, uh, before browning them over on the stove. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is, but we are going to find out. I've never actually used flour for anything outside of baking, so this is actually Pretty exciting for me to learn a new use of flour. I know it. I know it begins to um, fry up. I know if you bread it and put it in a fryer, it begins to fry up. Uh, but if not, I know what happened with it. Uh, I know my smash cut flash forward happened later in the episode last time, but it feels like we're gonna have a lot of cutting today, so I'm gonna do a simultaneous uh, cut and fry. We are supposed to rotate the meat on the oil. I was actually kind of PO today because I know when they say buy stew chunks, I know exactly what they're talking about. It's giant, but they didn't have them today. So I just had to get two pieces of beef and cut them up into chunks. So I hope stew chunks are just a shape and not some special form of meat. Now I don't, I know this sort of defeats the purpose of a stew, but I don't like a lot of vegetables in my things, like potatoes and carrots and onions for that matter, so I'm going to try and dice them. I like the flavor more than I like physically eating them, so I'm going to try and dice them all very small, but I guess you could hypothetically dice them as much as you want. Fun fact about the place I live, uh, it constantly thinks I'm going to burn the place down, which is not unfair, but is annoying. There was a period of time during the early days of the shutdown where I wanted to lose weight and save on food, so I basically ate nothing but potatoes for like two weeks. And I don't mean like, oh, jazz them up. I mean like cut, put a little olive oil, pop them in the fryer, in the, not even the fryer, just in the oven. And that's just what I would eat for a couple weeks. You know, I kind of talked myself out of potatoes, so I think I'm gonna skip on potatoes. Okay, we're just about done with the cutting table, so I'm bringing you all over here. Uh, we're essentially supposed to be browning it, so it's going to be like this with the flour, get a nice brown going, flip it all over. So it says we're actually supposed to be browning these in, in, in the pot we're gonna cook it in. I'm not sure how you do that in a pot, so I use the pan. Uh, fun fact, no pull out of chopping onion. I assume you peel them first. So I know the, the point of this video is, you know, Mateo doesn't know how to cook, ha ha, goo goo. Uh, but I do have actually some advice. Uh, the trick to not cry when you cut onions is don't form an emotional attachment. I knew these onions for a long time, so it's a bit hard for me. Again, I don't love the carrots and potatoes and onions in my stew, so I went very light on them. Pour the beer into the pot and use a wooden spoon to scrape up any brown bits. Return the brown beef to the pot and add the broth and paprika. Adjust the heat to low cover and cook at a simmer until the meat is very tender, one and a half to two hours. Fun fact about the tail, I hate dark beer. I have a friend named Brooks who absolutely loves dark beer. It all tastes like tar to me. 
I don't know of Guinness's dark beer, but I enjoy Guinness, so we are gonna use Guinness. This is the risk I am taking that is gonna either make or break this meal. My big adult discovery was broth. That was my big thing that I didn't know you could just buy. In a I make chicken like noodle soup with the chicken broth all the time. I didn't know broth was the big discovery. That was my big for uh, one teaspoon sweet paprika. I did not see sweet paprika, so I just got paprika. Uh, I debated for longer than I would care to admit putting just a splash of sugar in because I don't have sweet paprika, but I kind of chickened out and thought that's not how this works. Adjust the heat to low, cover and cook at the simmer until the meat is very tender, one and a half to two hours. Add the onion, carrots, and potatoes to the pot and continue to simmer until the vegetables are tender about 30 minutes. Stir in the parsley and season with salt and pepper. Serve hot. And continue to simmer until the vegetables are tender about 30 minutes. So the last 30 minutes? I put the vegetables in the last half hour is what it sounds like. Most stews are made with broth and a small amount of wine. That would have been fun, but this one utilizes dark beer. The beer uses the stew with an earthy and faintly malty flavor. That is fascinating. Okay, we are going to get this cooking. We will cut back to you and uh, whenever this is done. Time is 6.30. It's been about an hour, so we have about a half hour left on our stew. So now is the time to add the onions, carrots, potatoes, uh, chopped parsley to the pot, stir, leave it on cook for about another half hour. Okay guys, so it's been about a half hour uh, after we added the vegetables. It should be about done right now. We are now going to do the final test. Okay, looks pretty good so far. Let's just mix that up a little bit, give it a little taste test. Fool me once. Oh, that's real good, y'all. I don't mean to brag, but I killed it this time. Traveler stewed, locked, loaded, one. Put a W up on the board. Super great to redeem myself after that Delgado coffee disaster. Uh, Traveler stew checked off the list. Happy eating. I didn't see it there. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wizards of the Roast. Please feel free to watch my other episodes linked somewhere on the screen. Follow me on social media, also somewhere on the screen. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and happy eating.